Pelicans. These quirky, comical, big-billed birds are usually thought of as spending all their time around coasts and harbors. They are widespread in Australia's lakes, rivers, billabongs, and estuaries, or other waterways, with enough food for their fish-loving lifestyle. With the longest beak of any bird in the world, and a wingspan that can reach two and a half meters, these are very unusual looking birds. And some of them have a very unusual habit. They migrate, but not over oceans. Some migrate inland. In the arid center of Australia lies Lake Eyre, a dry salt pan that is the lowest point in the country's vast landmass. When rare rains bring water to the parched outback rivers, they begin to flow and bring water and life into Lake Air. And the pelicans follow them. Stopping at creeks and billabongs along the way to their ephemeral paradise, many of the birds that make this inland journey are heading back to the place of their birth. Soaring on thermals, these ingenious animals make a route map from the temporary waterways, following them ever deeper into the outback. Finally, their destination is in sight. Each pelican comes into land on these magical waters. The population of the lake seems to grow by the minute. Many of these birds will have flown hundreds of kilometers to get here. It is a journey worth making. The lake only has a covering of water once every eight years, and it has filled only three times in the past 150. It is a place worthy of migration. While there is water in plenty, the birds continue to come. Soon, thoughts turn to breeding. These ground nesters lay two or three eggs. After just over a month, the first to hatch peeks out of its egg. For the first few weeks of its life, the young chick will be reliant on the bounty its parents bring from the lake. Lured to this fleeting paradise, the pelicans here have a rich start in life. They will make the most of this time of plenty. No one knows how long.